Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. Sawadee Krap and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort Phuket. I'm JP Mistanza, and here's the news you need to know. Phuket police are on the lookout for five suspects who allegedly kidnapped a Myanmar man in Phuket town last week and extorted 120,000 baht before releasing him near Wat Naka in Wichit. The 40-year-old Myanmar victim told police that four men who claimed to be part of a special task force targeting illegal migrants forced him into a pickup truck last Thursday. The men allegedly withdrew the money from the victim's account, all the while posing as an authority figure. He was later released, but an investigation into the incident has begun. And Thailand is going to see the first batch of electric cars in the near future as the cabinet has finally approved the production of the environmentally friendly vehicles. The news comes weeks after the announcement that Bangkok Mass Transit Authority are set to roll out a fleet of 200 electric buses by the end of the year. A clearly defined framework for vehicle standards, charging stations and tax incentives should be available sometime later this year. And the referendum on the proposed Thai constitution is this coming Sunday, August 7th, but Prime Minister Prayu Chanucha is saying that he will remain in charge no matter the outcome. He was responding to calls by anti-coup groups that he should resign if the draft charter does not become the supreme law of the land this Sunday, especially since it would create uncertainty on whether the country could hold democratic elections next year. The PM did say that if the charter fails at this Sunday's referendum, a new one will be written. The news comes a day after 19 politicians were released after hearing charges of defying the junta's ban on political gatherings. And stay right there, Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Are you ready for a challenge? Run through the National Park in 4, 8, and 15 kilometer distances. Can you be the king of the mountain? Satri Phuket School International Program, complete with Cambridge International Examinations, prepares students for life, helping them develop an informed curiosity and a lasting passion for learning. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Ten people, including members of the powerful political family in Chiang Mai, the Buranupakorns, are facing prosecution in the north for their alleged connection to the 15,000 letters that were meant to mislead people about the contents of the proposed Thai constitution. The ten suspects include former member of parliament Tasani Buranupakorn and her uncle Boomlert Buranupakorn, who is currently under suspension as the president of the Chiang Mai Provincial Administrative Organization. Military officials found boxes of the letters in raids all across Chiang Mai last week, just before they were to be distributed. And now all the suspects are facing several charges, including sedition and collaboration in illicit activities under the criminal code. This story is ongoing. And apparently even officials can be sued for defamation, even if they're doing their job. The governor of Bangkok is suing the Auditor General for alleging that there was something wrong with Bangkok's New Year light show. It all stems from a press conference back in May when the Auditor General said his commission found irregularities including bidding collusion in the New Year's light project. But Bangkok Governor Sukumban is filing a complaint in criminal court saying the Auditor General has no authority to handle the case. And finally, in trying to show just how strong the ballot boxes are for this Sunday's referendum, a member of the election commission threw it on the ground, but it didn't go as planned. Despite saying it would, quote, handle temperatures of up to 56 degrees Celsius and be used for the next 10 years, the box broke on the ground once it was thrown repeatedly. Somchai Sri Suti Yakorn threw the box in front of the cameras, but when it shattered, he said, quote, when we use it, no one will throw a ballot box like this. And what do you think about today's news? Would you use these ballot boxes on your moving day? 
And what are your thoughts on Thailand embracing electric vehicles? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to check out the PuketNews.com for all the latest news. From all of us here at Phuket Extra, thanks for joining us. Until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket.